Your discretion is advised. Okay, what's up, y'all? It's CJ Top Chef, and a while back I reacted to the uh, Step X Step Dance interview, um, Raw Part Five, and I didn't even watch one through four. I just know y'all, y'all really, really, really wanted me to react to it, so I reacted to it, but I didn't know what it was. So now that I see that I need to go back and watch the first four, I will be doing that. I don't know why people do that, though. Like. If y'all are one of those people that like request things like just in the middle instead of like me asking me to react from start to finish, tell me why in the comment section below cuz I I never understood why you guys do that. And why did number 5 be so much more popular than the rest? Cuz you would have to know what's in the video before you watch it and it's not the title that gets you cuz all of them are the same title with different numbers. So what made that video so popular? Because it's not like you really share it around. It's like, how do you know that it, it was going to be something you like more than the other ones before you click on it? That's what I want to know. But um, anyway, man, this is part one. We're going to start from part one, and we're going to go as far as they go. Um, step back, step, dance interview with Laurent. Uh, Raw, part one. I can't see the rest, so let's go. Said, K, 
give me the key of the studio right now. I'm going to practice. Lawrence, kill me. This is what he said to us. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going to bring your You got to get ready for, I don't know, tonight. Tonight, like, we're going to be we're gonna be in the club for New Year. And a lot of people waiting for us. Yeah, I'm back. Like, in Vegas, oh God. A lot of clubs like call us and need to be. You need to be there. You need to be there. Oh, you have your table yet? Yeah, really? I'm like, oh, which club gonna be? Which club gonna be? That's it's gonna be crazy. But you know, now in practice, for sure for tonight. That's oh God. awesome. But you know, you, we never practice. We never practice for practice. You know. Yeah. You know, said, oh, going to studio. I need to practice. No. No, never. In my life, it's always like this. I go to the club every night and today the battle day is Saturday every Saturday yeah. we go in Kosek is Kosek is some gym studio you know uh, big gymnast a lot of guys practice a lot of guys have a lot of money can come and just chill it and feel it and try battle someone or learn some style about you know someone or somebody you know yeah yeah it's good and it's my coach do that i be bukebe playmo his name playmo yeah playmo you know him i've heard of him uh you need to know him Well, okay. Um, I can see exactly why part five was the best because he actually did like moving and stuff. But I guess people just like didn't want to hear him talk. Me personally, I agree with what he's saying. Like, in order to be able to like give it your all every time, you have to feel like it's something that you're fighting for. Now, if you're on stage dancing with somebody that's your like your partner, you have to. When it comes to being with your partner, you don't try to be on the same level as them. You don't try to uh, try to not take the shine because you don't want them to feel like you're taking over. If you're gonna do your best every time and you have a partner, the thing that keeps you going is to feel as if you're going against them. Don't worry about who the other people are. Don't worry about the performance. You have to feel like as if you're dancing against whoever it is that you're dancing with. So that way you know you're giving it your all because you know that they are a, a phenomenal dancer or phenomenal performer of any type. So if you feel like as if you're going against them, it makes you strive even harder. Like, like it makes you really give it your all if that makes sense like say for example if I was I don't know singing with a person if I sing like oh I'm not gonna take the shine then it's not gonna work but if I'm singing with a person you gotta make sure you're you're singing like the best like I, I don't really know how to compare it for real because dancing is like the best scenario that I could think of. But if y'all catch what I'm saying, then leave it in the comments below. I actually understood what he was saying in this video. Uh, a lot of people just like watch and click out. Because, you know, when it comes to interviews, a lot of people just don't like to listen. They listen for key parts. And then they take what they, what they wanted out of that interview and use it to their knowledge. But all you really got to do is just listen to every word and then fraction it together if that makes sense but um yeah man that was episode what is it uh part one um <laughs> uh, and let me know if y'all want to see 
the rest of them. What's up, y'all? Hope you enjoyed that video. Did you enjoy this video? Go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know if you did enjoy this video. Let me know what your favorite part of the video was. And make sure you go to the links below to the original posters channel so you can show them the support that they deserve for making this video for us to react to today. And make sure you also give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Give it two thumbs up. If you can't give it two thumbs up, then go ahead and comment below. And if you're new, subscribe and I'll see y'all the next time I see y'all.